Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, thanks to Will Goo, um, I was able to get a um, default image for the YD PG16. What's good about that is that um, if you flash it, it eliminates the need for that game manager, so you don't have to go into game manager to map your controls on your emulators. Uh, I'm going to walk you guys through it. It's not the same kind of um, flash that you would do where you boot into recovery. You have to use a program called Live Suite. Um, I've put together a package for you guys so it should be pretty painless. First things first, you need to shut down your uh, Yin Lips and unplug it from your computer. Make sure it's completely shut down. Then you're going to extract the Life, um, the Life Suite um, package that I uh, have created for you guys. And then you're going to double click on Life, Life Suite Pack version 1.07.exe it'll automatically extract and it should install a driver you'll get a warning like this just go ahead and select install this driver software anyways and then you're gonna double click on livesuite.exe it'll, it'll say welcome to live suite just say no and then you're gonna select the image file that I've included and it's called g16.img now what you need to do is you need to press and hold the reset button that's on the bottom of the device and while you're holding that down you need to plug in the USB cable to the PC and the Yenlips device. Just keep holding it down and it will install the driver you'll know everything uh, installed correctly when it says tips does mandatory format select yes both times now you're gonna lose everything on the main flash you will not lose anything on your external SD card but if you want to you can just extract it I mean I'm, I'm sorry remove the external SD card just in case this can take up to four minutes uh, so I'm going to speed up the video right now Okay, when it's done, you'll just get to the next explanation point inside a triangle. Just select OK. And then unplug your device from your computer. And turn it back on. It'll reboot and it'll ask you to calibrate um, the screen just like you did the first time you booted it up. Okay, now that the device is rebooted and you have a uh, blank stock image, we're going to install Unlock Root. Just double click on the um, Unlock Root 23.exe that I included in the uh, package and select Run. And just accept the defaults. And then select Run Unlock Root 2.31. You need to plug your um, device into your USB cable, and Windows will try to install the driver. In Windows 7, it doesn't find the actual driver. Um, Windows XP doesn't find it either. Just click on close when it says no driver found. And then you need to go into device manager. On Windows 7 and Windows XP, you can just right click on computer and select properties. On Windows 7, you actually have to click Device Manager. On Windows XP, it automatically goes to it.
should see something that says Android with an exclamation point. Right click on it, select update driver software, then click on browse my computer, and then click on let me pick. Select show all devices and click next, then click on have disk. Next you're going to browse to the directory um, where you extracted the package that I provided for you guys. And then go into the folder that says USB driver and double click on Android underscore win USB dot INF. Select OK and select the first thing that comes up, the Android ADB interface. And click Next and then say Yes. It'll install the driver software for you and then we'll be ready to run Unlock Root. Okay, once the um, driver has been installed, you'll see that window finished installing the driver for this device and, list, and it'll be listed as an Android ADB interface. Click on close, and then you can close out a device manager. And now before you click root, there's one more thing you have to do. You need to enable USB debugging. To do that, go into settings, applications, and then development options and put a check mark in the box that says enable USB debugging. It'll give you some kind of warning. Just say OK. Now that that's done, just click on Root. It takes a few seconds, but it'll re um, find your device. It'll say Unknown Crane or something different. Just select it. It'll say that it's already rooted, um, which is somewhat true because it seems to be kind of like a soft root. Just say Yes. and now it'll fully root the device. Um, it'll ask you if you want to install the battery saver app. I say no. It'll say reboot your phone or pad to finish the work. Reboot now, say yes. And your device will be completely rooted. Now you're uh, free to do anything you want on the device. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you guys have any questions, just let me know.